Okay, many of my students have been having issues with the putting a uh, rim on their car, especially if their rim is done where it has uh, it's covered by a fender, and they want to add a rim, but then they got to cut off the rim and things of that nature. So I'm going to really avoid the the conflict of having to you know get a nice circular rim that's cut off. So here's how it works: you're going to get an image, which I found one on the internet, a beautiful Ford GT40. I'm going to copy the image. We're going to Photoshop. Go into File New. Okay paste it. Now I have the car is inside Photoshop. I took time out of out of the day to go onto Google and I got a rim as well which I chose a, just a simple rim. We'll do this rim right here. I'll view the image. I'm gonna copy this image. Go back into Photoshop. Let's show so you can see everything. Good good. Edit. Paste. Comes in another layer here. I am going to double click on this layer, call it car, as we've already done this before once. We're going to go into the rim layer now. I'm going to get super duper close to it once again. And I know I'm kind of repeating a couple of steps, but it doesn't hurt. So we're going to come on to this one with the magnetic lasso tool, because I've already tutorialed this once for putting rims on a regular car. If you mess up, hit backspace. And I want to now show you the tutorial for fixing this little problem when it comes to overlapping uh, you know something you want to put it's called planar recession putting one object in front of another to create depth well we want this rim to be in back of the car so here's how it works going around whoops I messed up it will go to grab the right way complete the path edit cut get rid of this rim now throw it out it's garbage back up so you can see everything uh, control zero so you can see everything we'll go to edit paste there's the rim. It's facing the wrong. It's facing the right way, I believe. No, we're gonna flip it. We'll go to Edit Free Transform, just to flip it the right way. Nope, it's gonna go this way. All right, that's fine. Now look, if I put the rim here, it does not work because we have this fender covering here. Here's how we avoid this. <clears throat> it's very simple. I'm only gonna do the front rim. I'm gonna just go into the car layer. I'm gonna call this one rim layer. Rim layer. All right, in the in the car layer now, we're gonna get super duper close into this section of the car just move it so you can kind of uh, you know just see what we're working with we're gonna use the polygonal lasso tool in the polygonal lasso I'm going to trace this section of the car right here nice and easily try and get crisp edges very important it helps that's pretty legit get that little piece there come over here and complete this path now in the car layer we'll go to edit cop edit copy you can do copy merge but do copy don't do cut because cut will ruin your car control Z you're gonna go to edit copy edit paste bring this that's this fender right here I just did I'm bringing this layer up to the top I'm gonna rename it call it front fender now watch what happens when I hit we'll hit control zero I'm gonna take my rim now my rim is underneath the front fender rim take the rim and watch what happens it goes underneath that section of the car and it doesn't look right because this rim is uh, trying to be too gangster about it so we're gonna go to edit free transform rim should be smaller to fit even though this rim really shouldn't be on this car it's actually uh, against my religion but it's for argument's sake that's how it would be so here's the rim it's behind this section of the car now and that's how we do it's if I put the fender underneath the rim layer, it would look silly. The fender rim needs to be above it. All right? And that is how it works. It's really not a hard thing to do. And you're, you're placing planar recession by putting one object in front of another to create depth. It's really a simple thing. And obviously, for the other rim, you just duplicate it as I showed you guys last time. Drag it to the back. You hit Control-T. Shrink it. And it's pretty much wrapped up. You can make it fit perfectly. All right, and let's just shrink it into here and into there. Maybe a little bit on the edge, just enough to say it is right there. Move and down. There it is. Move tool and apply. And that is it. So that's it. All right. Thank you so much. You guys are wonderful. Love you. Later.